Generic greetings and welcome back to Where Ships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is mango and lychee green tea. An interesting flavour and something I've not tried before, so you're not quite surprised. Anyway, as of late we've been doing the conquest mode, the campaign mode, and although that's really enjoyable and it's good to play that meta game of having to take different ones and react to things and you know have random monsters pop up, we haven't really made a really interesting design. <laughs> One, when is it interesting? I mean, one that probably won't work, but we can try at least outside of um, the conquest mode because unless you just um, abuse the uh, imbalance of bombs and uh, borders, which to be fair, bombs have been uh, you know nerfed a bit, which is un totally understandable. Um, you really not you're not limited to what you can build, but the the AI can make uh, just you know really optimized designs. But what we want to do in this one is we want to design an airship. Now, there's been a couple of people requesting that, you know, all different designs, and that's great, and that, you know, that's what we expect. But we haven't made... There's, there's one that I've always wanted to make, and the reason I've not made this vessel that I'm going to do now is because there's no real call for it. I want to make a command ship. Now, if there was things in the game where, say, like a, a big spotting device or a signaling device and it would give like a global bonus so if it's on the field every other vessel you have gains say 10% accuracy or it gains um reduced or uh, reduced cooldown in the orders you can give it so if it's say like 10 uh, 10 seconds per order you can put it to eight that, that sort of thing that would be good and I, there's probably mods to do that um or radios that give you again certain global bonuses those would be a really good addition but there isn't um so there's no real point in a big command vessel um but um, I think we're going to combine the two. Uh, we're going to combine a command vessel, so a vessel that can sort of take care of itself. It's going to have cannons, it's going to have um, small guns, medium guns, it's going to have flak, it's going to have probably not bombs, but it's going to have as well... Um, it's probably going to have a lot, of, a lot of planes on it and such. We'll have that, but we're also going to build a ship that's the max. So a lot of people have been asking to max it out. So when you build a vessel, you can have a total of 120 crew and 20,000 cost. And we're going to do just that. So first things first, we need to design. Well, we need to figure out what's going to be on the front of it. So I want something that can siege quite well. So I'm going to go with heavy cannon. One, two, three, four, five heavy cannons, I think. Now, this is just something I have in my head. I, obviously, this could and will change as we progress on. And what I want to do is I want to have it fairly big front end, um, sort of slim down to the centre and then go up to the top here with the back where all of the main stuff will be. So let's just see how we get on. So we're going to go down to structural and we want to get a grand keel and we want to place a grand keel right down the middle like so. And that's going to be roughly the length of this thing. So there we are. Now the problem with Grand Keel is you can't traverse it, but we'll get around that in a moment. So first things first, we need to put some ammo at the front. So we're going to go down to resources and we'll ammo star this up. So one, two, three and four. Is that very weak? Yes, it is. We should probably back that up a little bit uh, to there and there and there and there. And then we will put between those, we could put fire doors. However, I think fire extinguishes are the better choice. There we go. That connects all of those up. That's fine. We then need to... I mean, we could have a fire point either side as well, which would be a decent choice. So we're going to do that. We then need to have uh, some things along here. And my choice for that would be aircraft hazar bays. And all the way along like so. All right. That is fine. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Absolutely bang on what I was aiming for. Um, sadly, we can't put the triplanes. Oh, we can put the triplanes down there. We can. Oh, that's even better. So triplane is... Which one do we want? Uh, bombers and... Bombers and biplanes is what we want. But bombers will put... Well, the biplanes will put on the front like so. One, two. And then the bombers, one. And then two. Perfect, exactly what I was aiming for. This is going far too well, although it probably is still going to fall out of the sky. Um, and also, it's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. In terms of armour, we are going to go with steel armour for the time being. Now, obviously, that's going to be very, very heavy. We might even go for heavy steel armour and we'll reinforce like the ammo store and things like that, so we might manually do that. 
So that is fine. You know what I might do? I might go ahead and put some more Hazabas in and another Grand Keel like that. The problem with that though is traversing around the ship. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, so there's that put in. We'll have a... Uh, we won't have a... We won't have that. I was going to say we'll have a... We'll have a corridor, but we don't. We want that and that. And we want corridor with ladder to go up to there. Now, the problem is that we can't go between the two. So if we go to overlays, look at that. That's a big problem. That is a big problem. So what I'm going to do, actually, better idea is probably take those out. Put a gap of one in between them. All right? Because at least that way, we can connect the two. In fact, that is probably better if we do that. And it means then we can do that. Do I want to do that? Ah, you can't even get down. Um. Okay. Redesign for a second. Let's just roll back a bit. And think about adding. Put that to there. Five points all the way along. All the fire extinguishers. Should be alright. Then we'll cut these out. And we'll have make sure we have... Walkways going all the way down. That's a better idea. That is a much better idea. One, two, three. 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 Um, the problem is that the keel won't allow for that. Will it? No, it's not going to allow that. So we'll have to basically put it wherever the keel is. Um, like that and then we can also fit fire points oh we can't because they don't have a walkway like that which is really annoying no, that doesn't matter too much so there and then there um, would we be able to do that hang on if I move that along to there is there any way that can go in that will allow us to get a fire point in? Yes, it would. It would. Okay. Do we want to do that? It would make it a bit more survivable. The problem is I'm going to lose so much space doing it. No, it's not going to happen. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Um, also, because these ones allow you to... <laughs> These little fire points uh, do pretty much the same job. So, we're doing that. One, two, three, four. Like that. And the corridors will go down. There we are. So we've got these little gaps. It's not too much of a problem. I'm going to do that and then do that. Because then at least we've got symmetry. And then these gaps here will probably put... I don't know. I put all sorts. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So there's that. Uh, obviously, it is very, very heavy and also quite expensive at this point. Uh, heavy steel armor. What would it go to? <laughs> very expensive. So steel armor. We want to now have the main chassis, as it were. So we need crew for a start. So let's work on that. So command and crew. Quarters. And the quarters are going to go... Uh, actually, no. What we'll do is we'll put... Oh, no. This this should be fine for quarters. There's our quarters. Uh, maximum crew is 120. There is now 120. If we did that, that's fine. We're going to have a sick bay right above here. And we could have a bridge, which we will. But uh, I was going to have multiple bridges, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um, let's just go with that for now. So, we now need to increase the... Well, I need to have the bridge going up. Because I wanted it to sort of slope up. Up there and along. So, we want a machine shop. Why was that... Oh, why is that red? Hmm. 
make sure your pathing is on and looks yeah it looks alright pathing is fine uh, do we want multiple machine shops I think I'm gonna remove these for now it's probably better if we design it so design it so that we can always just put the crew in afterwards because they're they're a quite universal section you can just shove it wherever we've got enough ammo at the front we've got the repair there um, current service ceiling is terrible but we sort of expected that I wanted to have the bridge come up and back in terms of lift what would it be um, minus 55 one of those I expect to have about three or four of these so that's okay um, so let's build the bridge that I mentioned. So command and crew, quarters. Five. There's five of those. The bridge will be right at the top. We'll have a crow's nest. That'll be the highest point of the vessel. And obviously we want a walkway. Which will then come down. And we can fit things in here. Where we need to. In fact, we'll have a computer, a targeting computer. That's fine. We want a telescope, actually. So that's not going to be the highest. Oh no, a telescope can actually go. Um, if I bring that back over, telescope can go there. So the telescope gives us direct fire with the ship's weapons. So I believe it just increases accuracy. The targeting computer calculate accurate firing solutions more accuracy. Crow's Nest, the same thing. Improves the ship's aim. Doesn't give you specifics. It used to be, I believe, 20%, uh, 10%, 10% maybe? Something like that, anyway. So, there's that put in. Uh, the computer doesn't have, sadly, a walkway going right up, but what we'll do is we're going to reduce this a little bit by doing that, and then we do have now space to put in a... Do we put a second bridge in? Put a second bridge in down there. We will put in a been resources, won't it? Repair bay. Oh no, not actually. We won't have a repair bay because we've got one down there. Certainly the fire point, so we'll put one down there. Um I'm actually gonna get rid of that bridge because I wanna put in a sick bay like that. All these little gaps will be filled at some point. So let's now focus on getting this thing in the air. Current service ceiling is minus 91 meters. It's not great, is it? <laughs> so I think we'll go for large suspendium chamber. One. Uh, the question is, do I want to put it there? Because that was always the plan to put it so it goes up. But you know what I'll do? I'll have the same height as that. So I believe it was there. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that gives us a cervix ceiling of 16 meters. Steel wall now. And then that's 43 meters. <laughs> okay, this thing is a little heavier than I anticipated. So, we're going to have to try and resolve that. <laughs> um right <laughs> that's well beyond what I expected okay um it says command every 13 seconds if I put another cockpit in does it oh, put a cockpit does it solve that oh yes it does actually reduce it hm. excellent well we might do that then we might do just that we'll get to that later um I should really connect these up because at the moment they don't count as well, A connected and B it's not calculating the crew and stuff properly. So there's that's in. That's in. So we've got these. We now need to have our fuel for that. So um, first I'll go to propulsion and we're going to have a large propeller just clamped on the back there. Like that. And sails, maybe not. 
And I, w uh, I wanted to have... Where is it? Uh, it'll be in proportion. I wanted to have engine pods under here. All the way along, but you can only have the one, which is the problem. I wanted loads of engine pods underneath, a bit like a Zeppelin. But you can only have the one. Anyway, so... Instead, we'll just focus on making sure this thing can actually take off. Currently it can, 16 meters. I mean, that's... Well, higher than I can jump, so that's alright. So, let's go for... Resources and coal store. That just seems... Really, really dangerous and probably shouldn't do it. Hmm. Okay. That is now in. Um, still not flying high. It's also a lot cheaper than I expected. I thought we'd uh, have this. I thought we'd be really a lot more expensive. So what I might do then is have the this go out from the bottom and have more guns on it. I mean, if I had a massive wing on the top, I'd almost be building Excalibur for Babylon Five, which would be really cool. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. If we lift these up, we gain a lot more room. Do we need a lot more room? Does it ruin the aesthetic or does it actually aid in there? I think it actually looks better like that, you know. And things would fit in a bit better as well. That would be all kinds of bad, wouldn't it, if I did that? Um, it's sort of wood. It's sort of wood, and I'm, I just don't like that. That long to there. That long to there. That long to there. Then do we have do we have like a fire point there? Actually, I'm thinking that is going to be the way forward. And then propulsion propeller anywhere on the back to give it more speed. Right. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm actually finding that to be all right, so I will preemptively do this. And the reason for that is this entire thing here will be filled up with. It's actually 61 kilometers. It's mm, it's not terribly fast. It doesn't really need to be fast. In a campaign, we wouldn't even. Almost certainly, we probably wouldn't do use this. Um. So in a standard fight, that's what we're really going for, for like a pitched fight, where we don't have to travel to the location. Uh, what was I looking for? Yes, lift and suspendium chamber. So, 54 meters. It's not terrible. It's also not great in any particular way, is it? Okay, we'll do that. And there we go. So, 62 meters, that's without adding any more weight to this thing. 24 meters if we do that. Okay, so we need even more. Um, more length, and just put another large suspendium chamber in. It's possible. It's possible. But then you're then you're also extending everything that needs to support that thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Need to focus on where we put these. Um, well, we know we can copy the design from the top now, so that's okay. There we are. Hmm. I think where's the best place to put 
these things. Probably that. I think is the best solution. There we are. Okay. 54 meters service ceiling. 89 with steel wall. That's more reasonable. Speed 64. Not terrible. But not great. So, we want now weapons. And, as I said, the whole point was to make this thing so it can do a bit of everything. So it's got, so far, it's got planes, hussars, big cannons on the front. I have a feeling that the big cannons on the front are not in a great position because ideally I would want things like flamers and such to be there. So instead, oh massive rockets. What I'm going to do is get rid of this. I'm going to put one at the back to remind me. I'm going to get rid of all of them at the back. At the front, rather. Two massive rockets. And... Aerial torpedoes. Which don't connect up, which is a shame, but we can always put them forward. And then have a... Fire door like that. Right, that's a bit more CG. Actually, no. The aerial torpedoes we want to put back here, don't we? Because they have a better arc. It's actually... <laughs> it's strange that the, the length of this thing is is an issue there. Acid spitter, we haven't used those before, well, for a long time. Um, do we have, yes, we do have a giant flamethrower and please let it fit in, go up and down. Ah, oh, it doesn't. So there's no connection between it. Okay, we're just gonna put it further forward then. That's better, that's better. Right, there we are. Okay, much better, much better, much better. So let's start work on these, which, um, ah oh, yes, because it's got that chin on it. We need to come back over. So one, two, three. Three cannon. And I don't think we're going to work all the way to the back and back up. It'll probably just sit around here. So we'll probably have another machine shop somewhere. Just to connect this up gonna have I don't think we need a water point around here because we've got one there although mm, it's not unreasonable we'll have to have a supply hatches around here as well some somewhere ammo one two three and how many crew oh, 60 and recommended is a hundred and three Sadly, I don't think I'm going to get my torpedoes in, which is a bit of a shame. I also haven't got the flak in that I, I, I would have liked, but quite frankly, we've got enough on this already. I mean, we could easily put weapons and flak. Hang on. Like that. Have flak cannons there. We could do that, yeah. Anything that flies over is going to get shot. Although this thing is going to explode massively. I'm aware of this. Um, <laughs> do we really need the flak? I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. We might put it in later on. We've got a flamer for short range stuff. We've got rockets for blowing stuff up. We've got all of the planes and hazards and big cannons. What we don't have is things for taking out... Um, things for taking out fast things. So we need like mini guns and stuff like Gatling guns, which I mean I could just put there. It's not unreasonable to say we could do that. Um, I could always take out some of this as well and move these back over like that and then put one, two, three Gatling guns there. It sort of ruins the shape a little bit, doesn't it? But then again, do I care much? The answer is not really. Um, can't put one there. Mm. 
there we go. Then we could always lift that up. Put another one there. So I know the short range of the Gatling guns, but anything that comes in to try and assault it, they've got the Gatling guns there pointing at it, which is pretty good. Um, a flak cannon. Could technically put on top there. Connect that up there. And then have... That's probably a weak point right there. That's the weak point. Anyway, we'll get rid of that. Um, we'll put in ammo store there. We don't really have good water to that, though. Oh, oh, has the game died? No, we're fine. Uh, actually, water's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, there's the connections there. Ammo's fine. That up to there. And then finally, a telescope to there. I would have liked it to point back over a little bit more, but it's all right. We can handle that. Unless we want to put the telescope over there. No, we don't. Right, so there's that in. There's We've got flak. Um, I'm assuming if I put flak here, it won't allow me anymore. Yes, because we've got the got that bit there. That's okay, though. That's fine. We have no near enough crew, so we are going to resolve that. And it shouldn't be much of a problem because it's literally just going to be plastering all of these in. And 108. And now we are maxed out in crew. There we are. There's our max. So we want this going down to there. And 132, but it's maxed out. Slightly reduced structural integrity due to large size. Ah. Ah, okay. Um, yes, we can put another Grand Kalen. So we'll put one Grand Kalen. And what else are we missing apart from supply hatches? I'm not sure. Put this. Remove that. Put a repair down there. And that's actually already got walkways anyway, so we don't need to put them in there. Um. <laughs> Look at the arc of fire. <laughs> right. 37 meters service ceiling. Terrible, but we'll probably put some dust tanks around, but that'll spoil the look, but hey-ho. Uh, we need to put some water down there. And supply hatches, really. Um, troops. We want guard barracks. Running along like so. Uh, just the two, probably. And guard posts will dot around. That's where guards will be stationed. And... There. We need a bit more crew. But I'll probably use... Berths. 120 max 120. Absolutely perfect. Right. Uh, supply. Mm, we're a little bit low on supply, so I should probably resolve that. <laughs> so, we're going to go for... Um, where will it be? Resources, I think. Resources. Reinforced steel cargo door. Them four. And... Like that, and like that. It's technically correct. Right. I haven't got torpedoes, though. I don't really like torpedoes. Oh, ram spike. No, no, no. 
No, stay down. Stay down. Uh, what about a grand ra- Ooh! No! No, we're not going to run with rockets on the front. That's insane. We'll just explode. Um, right. I want an aerial torpedo. I want one. One. <laughs> just one. <laughs> one. One aerial torpedo, please. And... There. It's connected up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having two. Do you know why? Because then it follows the same contours back over. Yes. Right. That is built. 28 meters service ceiling. I think that would actually be currently hitting the ground. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to structural. Sorry, um, shapes and decoration first. And we're going to shape this up a little bit. So, we will have... Our standard slopes and such, actually what we'll do is we'll put filler blocks in first, because that's going to slope back. That can't slope. Um, that we're not going to be able to do anything with. Uh, we need to put some fillers in there, because it's going to go um, probably a slope of two, actually. A uh, slope of two, that's fine. Uh, two, 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 round to there, and then whatever we have at the back. Okay, that's fine. That's actually not too bad. I've said two quite a bit. And... You know what, I'm just going to get rid of that as well, because we can have uh, that one there. And we want that slope. Yes, not bad. These can't have a slope in, sadly. Um, but these ones can. I shouldn't be proud of that. But I think that looks awesome. I mean, the design's crap. Let's get that out there now, right? <laughs> It's, it's terrible, but it exists. So, what are we missing out on? Well, we currently have a 25 meter service ceiling. That's not great. So, we could add some lift balloons if we really wanted to. Or we could go with the dreaded pressurized suspendium chambers. It sort of ruins the look. Do you know what I'm going to do? You know what? We're not going to do anything else to it. We're going to see what happens. If it can't take off, it can't take off. We understand. It actually should be it should be black with a red line. Because then it's like go faster stripe. But anyway. Rough painting on here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, don't worry. I'll do the back bit. Let's just pull it back to that. Then we know where we're. Uh, it's going to be weird regardless of what we do. That's not too bad. That's in there. Um, and in here front hmm not sure that's not too bad right so it is 
version one. We're not going to call it done. No way are we going to call this thing done. But it is version one. I wonder if that looks better. Don't know. There we go. So we're going to call this version one of... Um, we're going to call it Excalibur. Let's see what it's like. So, total cost, uh, 17,239. So it hasn't been maxed out. Um, we haven't exploited using a boatload of the keels, but they are very, very good. Um, 25 meter service ceiling, that's the worrying part. Um, crew is maxed out at 120. Recommended crew is 123, so we're actually on the nose there, that's fine. Coal seems to be good, ammo's good, water's very good, repair is fine. Command every 23 seconds, that's the main problem. For a command ship, it doesn't really have commands that I can give it often, because it's so large, so we might need to put some more bridges in. But as I said, this is a version 1 and probably won't, well, probably won't see any more than that. But anyway, let's go to combat. We'll have it at, uh, day. We're going to add Airship and Excalibur. Well, you know what? That is perfectly acceptable. If there was some trees in, we'd probably manage that. So, I'm happy with that being in there. What are we going to fight? What are we, we going to fight? The turrets? <laughs> I mean... No, it's it's not going to happen. Um, the problem is that <laughs> just the expense of this thing. I'm going to move it right back. Um, so, add land ship. We've got the Paris, which is a carrier. So, put a couple of Paris in. One, two. These are all things that we designed in the last couple of campaigns. Uh, we'll add airship and we'll put the a couple of barriers in, actually. One, two. Add airship. I'm, I already know that I'm going to lose, by the way. There's no way I can defeat this. Um, the York, the New... Well, uh, Sterling, the Leroy. <laughs> yeah, let's put a Leroy in. <laughs> Come on, Leroy. Um, add... Uh, no, no, add airship. Um, Dresdens. We'll have some Dresdens in. Two Dresden classes. And... Do we have a Denver? A couple of Denvers, which are our boarding vessels. So, 1, 000, uh, 17,239, 17,636. They are slightly overpointed, but... We have this. Immediately, there's shots out. There's flamers actually hitting. Um, we are going to target the... The ram, oh god. Oh, we've just been, we've been, <laughs> we've been Leroyed. All kinds of bad. Um, move quickly. Uh, oh, we are getting boarded though, which we expected. Hopefully the guards can take care of business. We're getting bombed to hell. Um, I need to issue an order to move. Oh, hang on. I think suspendium, we've lost some suspendium. I've told it to move. It's all kinds of bad. It's all kinds of broken. There we go. There, it's in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so we can safely say that didn't work, right? We, that uh, <laughs> immediately the problem with it was problem with orders. We couldn't give as uh, many orders as we need to. Okay, let's leave that. Come up once more. Um, we'll go for airship and we'll put in the the Excalibur. Put it right at the back once more, and we'll say land ship. Oh, airship rather for them. We'll have. They can have a. They'll have a Dresden. They can have a. A couple of Barrys. They can have a. A Denver or two. Actually, we'll have one Denver and one Barry. And. Do I want a New York? I don't know. Oh, we'll have a Coventry. We haven't seen that in a while. We'll have a Coventry in. And... Land ship. But it shows you just how cost-effective these are. That's five grand right there. Seventeen grand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want two sets of planes? Two sets of the carriers? 
I think so. And that equals out 17,239, 7,216. As pitched as we're going to get it, really. As pitched as we're going to get it. That looks nice in the snow. So immediately there's shots out. I want to focus our fire on the Dresden. So their planes are getting shot out of the sky, as you can see. Um, our, however, ours will also probably suffer a similar fate. Uh, we have some shots out that have hit the Dresden there. However, we are taking hits back, as you can see. Um, let's go for an outside view. We are taking hits, but still surviving. Lots of bombers going overhead, as you can see, but our flak is actually dealing with that quite well. The Dresden is now falling out of the sky, which is good. We are now going to focus on the Barry. There we go. Which hopefully the flak... Oh, look at all their planes coming out the sky. And our planes are attacking them. Um, we have lost... Uh-oh, we've got some explosions. We have lost... Well, we've just lost. But um, we've lost one, two, three, four... Yeah, we've got secondary explosions all over the place. And it's falling out of the sky. Okay, we've lost all of our... That was some... Really bad slowdown there. We'd lost all of our suspendium. I think what I need to do is armor this up a bit more. So probably put heavy armor over the vital parts. Yeah, probably. Probably. It's so far, it's not actually proving to be neither great nor useless, which I'm happy with. Um... Let's put the New York on board. There's going to be a lot of planes, though. Add airships. Uh, we'll have a Coventry. 13,000. Add airship. Do you want a couple of Barrys, or...? I don't know. We'll have a Denver. And... I guess a Dresden. thousand yeah height is the problem put some dark cubes in 17239 17361 all right our main focus oh look the suspendium shots coming out from them our main focus once again will be on the Dresden Need to take that out as fast as possible. Um, you can see that we are shooting down their planes. Uh, there's the boarding coming straight in. Look at that. There you go. Going straight over the top. It's actually going to go probably underneath and then back to there. Our flak is dealing with most of this, I think. Uh, we are now getting boarded. There's the boarding. However, hopefully we'll be able to stop it. There's shots whizzing out. Oh, the Dresden has seemed to... It's currently ramming into me. And also the New York is right there. And with the Paris following up. And the Coventry, they're all charging forward. There's the other issue. There you go, look. There's the main issue. Outside view. We start taking holes to the suspendium chambers. And then we get explosions and all kinds of bangs. We are on fire. We are putting it out. Um, we are about to lose the front end as the Dresden is going to chop straight through it with its wreckage. There we go. <laughs> um, we will focus on that. We still have some cannons and some hazards. We've repelled the borders. Coventry is on fire, but we're about to fall out of the sky. What I might do is land this thing. I'm trying to deal with the with the New York, but as you can see, it's firing at us and uh, we're not, the return fire is being quite ineffectual. There's the back end blown up again. Yeah, that's the main Achilles heel of it. I thought it would have Death Star Syndrome. It actually lasts longer than I expect, to be honest with you. It really does. Um... It just doesn't seem to... It just... The, the back end blows up. We need to armour the back end more. I think for a version 2, not that we're going to be doing a version 2 now. And beverage is cold now anyway. Mm. Yeah, beverage is cold. Um, if we were do, to do a version 2, which I'm up for trying, we would have to have it fly higher. So we'd have to probably either lighten it up or most likely... Most likely we would armor the back up and armor all of the explosion bits up. We might put some more fire point in around there. Although I think we've done our best for the fire. 
Um, and we would probably add some pressurized suspendium. But where is the question? I don't know. Uh, we are still fighting, and as you can see, we have managed to take out the New York. We have taken out most of the planes. In fact, we do have air superiority. We've got our bombers over there, bombers over there, and bombers here. Are those their bombers? Oh, they're, that's their bombers. We've lost all of our flak and all of our hussars, so we can't take them out. I mean, I've lost the fight, but I've done, all, I've done okay on this one. Either way, it's been an interesting build. It's not totally effective, <laughs> but that's why we try these things, because you don't know until you know, and now we do. So, I think we will leave that there. Not a bad design. I tell you, I do like the look of that. I really do like the look of that. Yeah. Yeah, I quite... I do like the look of that one. Um, maybe get rid of these rockets on the front and put the miniguns. Although the arcs on the rockets are good. I'm just not too... I'm not too... Uh, I'm not sold on their effectiveness, shall we say. Maybe change that up. Flack across there. And then whatever can fit in here. Probably a grand cannon, actually. Bronze one. Something down the bottom. Probably four torpedoes or something. I don't know. Um, this is not too bad. That seems to work. This is okay, but the miniguns here, obviously short range. But it does mean that anything flying over the top does get shot. Maybe change those for cannon. Just standard cannons. We can have a play about, and obviously we need to armour up all of this, so use extra armour. So say heavy steel armour, and do that. But the service ceiling is dropping. Although not to a stupid amount, 19 metres. By the time we get the rest of it, it'll be 10 metres, so we'll then need to use pressurised suspendium around here, which is always a problem. Actually, what I'll probably do is put pressurised suspendium um, along here, along this bit here. Or actually standard, no, yeah, it would have to be pressurised suspendium because of the size. Because... Um, it's a three height, and we don't have the height for that, but we can put these in. See that there? And that gives us a decent one. But this, as soon as one of those blows, it's going to take a half of this with it. But wouldn't matter too much because we still have the top deck, and the keels won't get destroyed, I don't think. So, yeah, there's, there's things and there's ways and means. But uh, either way, that has been a little bit of Airships Conquer the Skies, but an interesting uh, commandy type build, or whatever you would like to call that one. Uh, the Every Ship, or whatever. It's um, also. You know, explodes quite well. <laughs> Either way, hope you have enjoyed the uh, the journey, if uh, not perhaps the destination of uh, that vessel, <laughs> the inevitable conclusion. Either way, if you've got any ideas for and suggestions for designs and what you'd like to see and that sort of thing, then by all means, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.